today we are going to discuss on the structures of the brain this is under the uh, central nervous system we have the brain and the spinal cord so we'll discuss on the structure of brain so uh, the first we'll discuss on the meninges so the brain is covered by the layer called the meninges the brain and the spinal cord are completely surrounded by three layers of tissue the meninges lying between the skull and the brain and between the vertebral foramina and the spinal cord so uh, it shortly we can say that it uh, it is a three layer covering of the brain and the spinal cord named from outside and outside inwards they are the dura meter arachnoid meter and the pia meter so for the outermost layer is the dura meter the middle layer is the arachnoid meter and the uh, innermost layer is called the pia meter the dura meter and the arachnoid meter are separated by a potential space called the subdural space so the subdural space is located between the dura meter which is the outermost portion and the middle portion that is the arachnoid then between the arachnoid and the pia meter it is uh, there is a subarachnoid space okay the subarachnoid space uh, is between the arachnoid between the arachnoid meter and the pia meter so uh, these are the three layers so let us see uh, a brief about the dura meter dura meter is composed uh, of two layers on one on the outside and one on the inner side the inner layer sweeps between inwards between the uh, two cerebral hemisphere which is called the fox cerebri and the two cerebellar hemisphere which is called the fox cerebri and the cerebrum and the cerebellum which is called the tentorium cerebelli okay so this uh, inner layer of the diameter will sweep inwards between what between the two uh, cerebral hemisphere okay so, so we all know that the brain is divided into three main parts it is a cerebrum cerebellum and the brain stem so between the uh, in the cerebrum it is divided into two cerebral hemispheres okay the left and the right cerebral hemisphere so this fox cerebral uh, fox cerebri this will div uh, this is between the two cerebral hemisphere and then um, another uh, which is the fox cerebelli okay likewise in the cerebrum in the cerebellum also it is divided into two hemispheres okay so, so this between these two hemisphere lies the fox cerebelli and then the space between the uh, cerebrum and the cerebellum is uh, uh, lies the tentorium cerebelli okay so this duramet inner layer of the duramater will sweep towards the this one okay then the outer layer is uh, it is the uh, outermost which is uh, next to the skull okay then next is the arachnoid meter which is the uh, middle middle portion okay it is separated from the duramater by the subarachnoid space and from the parameter by the sub uh, sorry it is separated from the dura meter that is outermost covering by the subdural space okay then from the pia meter by the subarachnoid space which is contains a csf then next is a pia meter it is a delicate layer of the connective tissue containing many minor blood vessels so the innermost layer is a very delicate layer which is composed of the connective tissue and which uh, in which most small uh, blood vessels are present it adheres to the brain okay completely covering the convolutions and dipping into its fissure okay it is mm, next to the uh, brain okay and sticks to the brain then uh, next we'll uh, discuss on the ventricles of the brain and the csf so uh, we all know that there are mainly four uh, ventricles which are present in our brain cerebral ventricles okay so these are the uh, left and right lateral ventricles then the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle the lateral ventricles lie within the cerebral hemisphere one on each side of the median plane just below the corpus callosum okay this lateral ventricles the name itself lateral means on side okay these are uh, present on two sides of the cerebral hemisphere then uh, in the third ventricle the, uh, the third ventricle is a situ uh, cavity which is situated below the lateral ventricle so the third ventricle will uh, lie below the lateral ventricles okay then the fourth ventricle is it is a diamond sub cavity which is situated below and behind the third ventricle okay below and behind the third ventricles 
then between the cerebellum and the pons so uh, this the, uh, these are the four ventricles on our brain uh, that is the left ventricle left lateral ventricle right lateral ventricle third ventricle and fourth ventricle so let us see what is the cerebrospinal fluid cerebrospinal fluid is secreted into each ventricle of the brain by the choroid plexus there is a uh, in, uh, in the cent uh, choroid plexus is centrally located uh, centrally located to the uh, this one uh, ventricles okay so from here from the choroid plexus the csf will be uh, secreted okay then it will pass to the uh, ventricles one by one okay so from the choroid plexus the csf will flow uh, it is secreted by the choroid plexus and it will flow to the lateral ventricles then from the lateral ventricles it will pass to the third ventricle and then the uh, foramen for a foramina in the roof of the fourth ventricles okay so remember that the csf is secreted by the choroid plexus then it will flow from the choroid plexus to the lateral ventricles then to the third ventricle and lastly to the fourth ventricle then csf is secreted continuously at the rate of about 0 0.5 ml per minute that is 720 ml per day okay so you should remember this uh this one you should remember the volume secreted per day then this csf after uh, it passed from uh, after it is um, passed from the third ventricle to the fourth ventricle it will pass to the blood through the tiny vesicles of the arachnoid matter okay uh, through the subarachnoid it will come to the subarachnoid space then from the subarachnoid space it will uh, pass through the uh, pass through the blood through the tiny uh, vesicles vesicles of the arachnoid matter then to the arachnoid uh, from the arachnoid villi okay so this tiny um, tiny villi are known as the arachnoid villi and it will uh, pass through the uh, blood so uh, the brain consists of the cerebrum okay cerebrum thalamus hypothalamus midbrain pons medulla oblongata and cerebellum so the main parts are the cerebrum cerebellum and brainstem so under the cerebrum there are thalamus and hypothalamus are there these are also this thalamus and hypothalamus these are also known as a diencephalon then uh, cerebellum is there Be, uh, just below the cerebrum cerebellum is there Okay, cerebrum is the largest part then cerebellum then next to it there is the mid, uh, brainstem brainstem which is composed of the pons and uh, midbrain pons and the medulla oblongata so uh, blood supply of the blood blood supply and uh, supply of the brain is which is also known as a circle of villi so here we can see it is formed by uh, various arteries and which are known uh, which are as follows that means uh, it is composed this uh, blood supply to the brain is done by the various arteries we can see in the picture also in the circle of willis you might have learned in your physiology class also this circle of willis this is the this is also known as the blood supply to the brain Cir or circular arteries so the main arteries which uh, plays a vital role in the supply of blood to the brain are anterior cerebral arteries so there will be two two uh, anterior cerebral arteries then two internal carotid arteries okay then one anterior communicating artery then uh, two posterior communicating artery and two posterior cerebral arteries and one basilar artery so you should uh, know this diagram you should know how to draw this diagram when the blood circulation of the brain is up then uh, next let's see what is the cerebrum this is the largest part of the brain and it occupies the anterior and mid middle cranial fossa 
okay so this this is the largest part of the brain it is divided by diff cleft called the longitudinal cerebral fissure so this diff cleft is known as a longitudinal fissure this this will separate the two uh, cerebral hemisphere it is a right and left cerebral hemisphere and can Mm, each containing one cerebral ventricles okay so the lateral ventricles will be containing in its cerebrum deep within the brain the hemispheres are connected by a mass of white matter nerve fibers so we have already learned the white matter is present within the brain okay so uh, within the brain the corpus callosum is present within the, this corpus callosum the uh, white matter or the nerve fibers will be present the fox cerebri is formed by the dura meter dura, uh, dura meter will line uh, will continue as a fox cerebri, uh, cerebri which will line the uh, this one cerebrum okay then it separates the two hemispheres and penetrates to the depth of the corpus callosum so uh, it uh, the dura meter will continue uh, in the deep layers of the uh, deep layers of the line which is connecting between the two hemispheres and then it will uh, uh, it will penetrate into the this one corpus callosum okay the, the superior part of the cerebrum is composed of nerve cell bodies or the gray matter okay so in the cerebrum in the brain the outer uh, the inner inner layer is composed of the white matter and the outer layer is composed of the gray matter okay so this gray matter will compose the nerve cell bodies forming the cerebral cortex the deeper layer consists of the nerve fibers or the white matter so the superficial part that is the outer part will consist of the nerve cell bodies or the gray matter then the out uh, the inner part or the deeper layers will consist of the nerve fibers or the white matter then the cerebral cortex shows many infoldings or furrows of varying depth the exposed areas of the folds are known as the gyri okay the um, area which are uh, the, uh, the area of which which are exposed area which are exposed or the uh, uh, exposed area with, uh, this is known as a gyri and the deep area or the uh, folds the areas of, uh, of the folds or convolution these are known as a gyri and uh, they, these are separated by the sulci or the features okay the, uh, so the uh, Deep, deeper parts deeper parts are known as uh, this on this are known as the fissures and the uh, exposed area or the uh, this one furrows are known as the uh, gyri each hemisphere of the cerebrum is divided into lobes which are named according to the bones of the cranium beneath their lie okay so the hemisphere uh, the each hemisphere of the cerebrum is divided into lobes four lobes there are four, four main lobes that is a frontal lobe parietal lobe temporal lobe and the occipital lobe the frontal lobe is uh, located uh, located in the uh, in the front uh, above the frontal bone okay so we all know the frontal bone are there frontal bone are there in front of our this one head then parietal bone parietal bone next to the frontal bone and then the occipital bone on the back then temporal bone on the sides so according to that the brain is divided into lobes the front front portion is the frontal lobe then the uh, it is uh, it is also this frontal lobe it is composed of the two that is on either side of the hemisphere there are two frontal lobes then uh, in the parietal lobe also these are two then occipital lobe then lastly the temporal lobe side sidewise so you can see the picture also the for uh, there are there is a frontal lobe parietal lobe occipital lobe and the temporal lobe